Okay, so we're going to look at some further in-depth eGPU performance between the 15 to 28 watt Surface Pro 8 to the 35 watt processor uh, Surface Laptop Studio. This is the i7 version. This is also the i7 version. Uh, our I eGPU is a 3060, uh, not 3060 Ti, uh, custom in an Oros gaming box shell and we will run uh, our time spy scores using laptop displays on both and then the same using an external display and we'll also do a shadow of the tomb raider uh, on all of those on e external display and internal display and we'll compile all the results and see what that looks like so stay tuned here we go okay so we finally have some pretty good looking data here and let's talk about the service pro 8 first i'm going to use that kind of as like the the baseline for what we're looking at here with the rtx 3060 eGPU, it scored 57 average frames per second in shadow of the tomb raider and it was 50 percent gpu bound um when switching to an external monitor on that eGPU, we went up to 67 frames per second, and it said it was only GPU bound 25% of the time, so an improvement there. Now, uh, when we moved to the Surface Laptop Studio, it actually went down a frame. It's within a margin of error, but it did uh, have a slightly lower frame rate when we were using the Studio Laptop's display. These were both set at 1080p. All of the settings were the same, 1080p high. Uh, score just slightly lower, and it said it was GPU bound 59% of the time. Uh, the Surface Laptop Studio using an external monitor saw pretty much the same gains. Uh, it went up to 66. From 56, it gained 10, just like the Pro 8 did. That represents a 17% gain when you move from uh, using the Pro 8's display to the external monitor and same on the Surface Laptop Studio, 17% gains uh, by moving to uh, an external monitor. So uh, let's look at the Time Spy results uh, using that 3060 eGPU comparing Pro 8 to Laptop Studio. The Pro 8 scored 6605 uh, overall the graphical score was 69.83, and the CPU score was 50.57. Uh, by moving to the external monitor, uh, things moved up. I think that's uh, it was roughly 8% um, by moving to that external monitor. The laptop studio also went up about the same percentage from 73.25 from the 67.86. So overall, uh, this is interesting results because the GPU score between Pro 8 and Laptop Studio is exactly the same. 6983, 6980, uh, down here 7682 versus 7644. Uh, so really no difference in, in GPU performance. The CPU is a little bit stronger on the Laptop Studio, 5864. Uh, and 59.28 versus the 50.57 and the 51.32 on the Pro 8. So uh, the takeaways from this are there is no real difference in GPU performance between the Studio and the Pro 8. Uh, so you don't need to worry that the Pro 8's not good enough to, to run the GPU. Um, it's as good as the, the Laptop Studio. However, the Laptop Studio does have a just slightly stronger um, GPU here. Or, sorry, sorry. <laughs> a slightly stronger CPU here. All right, so I have just one more fun little uh, piece of information for you. So if you have a Service Pro 8, uh, this is the frame rate of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, 1080p high, 21 frames per second. You add the eGPU, you're bumped up to 67. You get a 319% improvement. However, if you already have the Surface Laptop Studio with the 3050 Ti, it scores 60 already. So when you step up to the Laptop Studio eGPU 3060, you're getting 66 frames per second. So 
you only get 110% of the performance. So a very slight gain. So uh, the point is if you are going to add an eGPU to your Surface Laptop Studio, uh, you're going to want to step up to at least a 3060 Ti or, you know, uh, it, y to make it worth your while, you need to be stepping up to something greater or equal to a 3060 before you're going to see improvement. So just keep that in mind. Uh, eGPU is great, but there are, you know, a 3050 Ti is capable. So um, if you have a monster eGPU, yeah, there's there's gains to be had here. But if you're just, you know, messing around with the 3060, you're better off just to stick to your 3050, frankly. So um, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this clarifies the external graphics situation on the Surface Pro 8 and the Surface Laptop Studio. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, and thanks for watching.